So you bought a new hard drive, and then you plug it into your computer and you go, wait, where's my drive? Well, you have to initialize it. So uh, today we're just going to be going through how to initialize a drive in Windows 10. So I've plugged in a brand new drive into, uh, into the machine, and what you're going to need to do is just, uh, the easiest way that I know how to do it is just to pop in here, right click on this PC, and click Manage. And we're presented with this window here. You gotta go to Disk Management. If you're lucky, you'll actually get a pop-up that says, hey, you gotta initialize this disk before you can use it. If you don't, that's fine too. You can just jump down here to your disk management. You see we have, you know, our disks here. So we just need uh, to initialize this uninitialized disk. And you see here that we, we literally have just not initialized as one of the uh, attributes here. So we'll just go ahead and um, initialize the disk. Typically with uh, large drives, unless of course you actually need a master boot record for you know booting from it or what have you. Um, usually we're just going to use GPT. Uh, the only thing that you might have problems with is that if you use it in something really old, like XP or something like that, it's not going to show up, but I mean they've been using GPT for a while now, so it shouldn't be a problem. So we're going to go ahead and say GPT. Once that's uh, initialized, the space is going to be unallocated. So now we need to make an actual volume for this. So we'll just click on new simple volume, follow the wiz wizard. Typically you want all the space. If you would, if you wanted multiple partitions, you could actually shrink this down and make one and then the other. But uh, for this particular purpose, we're just gonna do one simple volume. We'll say next. Uh, you can pick a drive lever if, letter if you want. You can say don't. You can also mount it to a folder. We're just going to create a drive on D because we know D is free and not used. So uh, after that, we just click next. <clears throat> so it'll give you a choice between NTFS and other sort of um, partition formatting file system setup. NTFS is pretty much what you want. XFAT, mm, I don't know that I'd bother. I leave the default uh, allocation unit size. I don't try to mess with it. If you, uh, if you know that you need something specific, that's where you change it. You can also give this a name. So I'm just going to call mine like big storage right so a lot of times if you have a new drive I recommend unticking the box or perform a quick format so that does a sort of a deep level format to all of the actual registers in the drive and all of the sectors in the disk just to make sure that it's 100% working if you have a drive that you knew previously was fine and maybe you've blanked it and you're reinitializing it you can do a quick format if you know the disk is good I almost always just like to untick that and make it do a long format because that way it's literally going through every single bit on the drive and reformatting it. So once we've done all that, we're going to click next. Gives you a brief summary of what we got going on. You can enable file and folder compression on the previous page if you want. That basically says like stuff that you haven't used in a while, it will compress it. And then when you you know start using it again, you uncompress. And, you know, for most practical purposes you don't really need it unless you're in an enterprise setup but we're not here and obviously you can see this drive is seven and a half terabytes so no need to worry so we'll say finish now we're gonna see that this changes to formatting and basically you'll get a percentage here after a while and basically what that'll do is just say I'm gonna format this disk in this case we're doing a a very long format so it's going to take probably hours and hours and hours and hours and hours but that's okay it's an eight terabyte drive what do you expect so I hope you found this video useful entertaining if you uh, have any comments about it leave leave them in the comment section down below if you'd like to see more how-to videos from me go ahead and subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned for more stuff like this